Have you ever heard of marketing to people's lizard brain? It's really a thing. And you can look it up on Google. Reptilian brain marketing or neuro marketing. Yes, businesses are learning how to manipulate other human beings by knowing what triggers them to buy. Now, years ago, I used to be learning from these kinds of experts and using lizard brain marketing. And here's the thing. Here's, here's the dangerous part of it is that it works. Lizard brain marketing will get you more sales in shorter time. But what they don't tell you is what effect does it have on your audience and on you and on your business in the longer term. Because it took me about three years to realize that I was building an audience that was more and more impatient about with me and with, just with products and with my industry. And also, I was drawing people to me that were more likely to be more desperate, more fearful, and just not as enjoyable to work with. Now, of course, there were some who were enjoyable to work with, but the majority of my audience I was drawing at that time was not people that I would consider to be kindred spirits, to be really of like heart. So I stopped doing reptilian brain marketing, which unfortunately is most of the marketing training that we see out there. Now, what is reptilian brain marketing? It's basically going for people's fear, people's impatience, people's greed. It's the fear of missing out. It's the wanting to be in the tribe. And if you're not in the tribe, then you're missing, you're going to be, you know, alone, et cetera, et cetera. All the things that make us worse human beings is what marketers are trying to trigger within us so that we'll buy their product or join their program, or use their service so that we will no longer be lonely, sad, fearful, anxious, whatever. And there are, of course, wonderful services that help us with our negative states. But when we market to those negative states, we create an audience that is more impatient and more negative, and we end up drawing a, a community that we don't actually want to hang around. I had to learn that by, by experience. So basically three years into doing this, I broke down. I could no longer run my business because I was like, okay, I'm just stoking people's fear and I'm drawing the people that I don't want. I'm drawing people in that are not my you know, heart-based heart, <laughs> heart -based people. So I changed my ways and I said, I'm going to only do marketing to people's higher selves from now on. I'm going to market to people's spirit from now on rather than their baser instincts. So instead of you know, going for their fear, I go for their love, their love of taking care of themselves, their love of taking care of others. I, I go for their inspiration to become the best that they can be. And I notice that as I start doing higher self-marketing, I start drawing to people, to me, that are just people that I, I love hanging around. And by doing that, my business becomes more enjoyable. Um, my clients like each other better. My fans like each other better. And just there's this wonderful virtuous cycle of continual growth and continual expansion that happens when we stop using the mainstream reptilian brain marketing and start stop and saying, you know what? Even though that stuff get, makes me more sales in the short term, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to instead use people, you know, not use people. I'm going to instead use my higher values to reach people's higher values. So I hope this is inspiring for you. And for those of you who, who want a way of marketing that really feels good, give it a try. Know that you can speak from your heart to other people's hearts and that it will work. Now, it won't work as quickly as stoking their fear. It will take more patience, but you will build a real audience of people who actually like each other and then really like you and you really like them. When people join my things, my, you know, my community, you know, commenters, uh, people who are my clients, whatever, they just like, George, you attract the best people. 
Well, it's because I speak to the parts of themselves that they, they're they proud of and the parts that they're aspiring to. So long story short, we can ignore the teachings about reptilian brain, lizard brain stuff, short-term marketing, fear-based tactics, and we can dive into heart-based, truly heart-based. Now, by the way, there are a lot of people saying heart-based who are just using that those words and still doing fear-based marketing. But we can truly say, how can I inspire others to take care of themselves and to take care of each other and to take care of the world and to be patient with their timeline and process rather than always making them feel fearful that they should join something and if you know they'll be missing out, they don't. Now, there are still deadlines. We can, we can use deadlines, but there are authentic deadlines instead of scarcity-driven, fear-based deadlines. If you want more, this is, video is going a little bit long, uh, but if you can Google authentic deadlines and my name, and there's an article that you can read about authentic deadlines if you want to. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, my name is George Cow. I love talking about authentic marketing, doing business from a place that we can really be proud of, from a place that we can really sustain. And um, thanks for joining me for this video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.